C63 with 170,000 kilometers. This is, I don't know which part it is, number third part. They fixed the guys. Here we can see a couple of parts. It's not, not below to that one. That's the fuel filter. The one that was leaking. Mr. Omar, he already installed a new one. Now to find where is the crack, you have to wash it. Anyhow, this like all the parts, this is returning back to the customer. Okay. Here we have the battery, the old battery. Ah, come on. Then, <clears throat> down here. What do you have down here, guys? That's the wiper blade. Yeah. The... There, wiper blades. Okay, you have a cabin, uh, a pollen filter here. You have air filters here, old one. Here you have the alternator. Uh, you put the diagnostic. You see the battery. Everything is okay. It's charging fine. It's charging fine when I put the. Very good. The two air ducts. You with the multimeter. Yeah. Okay. The two air ducts. All right. Here inside, what do you have? Here you have the seals. Ah, this for the, the transmission filter. One second. Transmission, transmission filter. Yeah, you see how much oil? Put another line, uh, bag. Yeah, put another bag inside, just in case. And try to close it very well up. So you have the bolts on differential oil, you have the coolant, you have the spark plugs, you have... What do you have here? Ah, the coupler. Drive a rubber coupler, yeah. And you have here the bushes. All right, it's gonna be nice if we had a jack, but we don't have a jack, unfortunately. And what it's not been replaced? Uh, this one, yes, this keep it, keep it separate because this has oil inside. What's not been replaced? It didn't been replaced the positive crankcase ventilation valve, this one. I'll explain why. <coughs> and the stabilizer bar bushes. Stabilizer bar bushes, this is an aftermarket. So, Omar, do you want to try to see if we can install them? this one and we try When we have a jack? Yeah, we have a jack. Okay, it's because also this what has on it there it's gone, you know, and we're gonna make some sound. Now, regarding the PCV, what's going on? If the 30 torques on the intake manifold it's not losing easily, that means you're going a little bit losing, tightening, losing, tightening until it releases and it's able to take it out. Keep in mind it's not a steel bolt, it's an aluminum bolt or aluminum bolt, called as you like. So because we cannot open this bolt, if we, if we force it, it will gonna crack, and if it cracks, it's gonna stay inside, and if it stays inside, we have to remove the intake manifold. We didn't change the PCV down there. Because if we try to, like I said, if it broke the bolt inside, then we have to say, well, you know what, we have to pull out the intake manifold, and then we need the new bolts, new gaskets, and all this story. Yeah, that's, that, it is what it is. It's not the first time, it happened also before. Uh, then, Omar, yes. start the car. You make an oil change, right? Yes. All right, start it, fire up. <laughs> Cold start, looking good. Get out. Okay, fine. All right, 28. The oil, 40 degrees. The coolant. They are looking good. They are looking good. No check engine. And that's it. One small update for this one. Now we'll go see for the uh, for the stabilizer bar. Yeah, we'll go. Okay, I'm not gonna finish the video. Let's put on the jack to see the stabilizer bar bushes. Which one? You cannot open the bolt also on the PCV? Yeah. God damn it. I Dang it. Yeah, it has the original bolt. Here, if you want my advice, 
Uh -huh. What's happening? They're killing him or what? We have it, Sansis. Because you have also the fault with the proper body. Yeah, no, that has a fault. But they don't open and take manifold. I said that before I was clear. I don't want to open and take manifold. Omar! I want to open it. But open it by your own. Do whatever you like. Me, no. Thank you. Thank you, but no. Thank you, but no thanks. Uh, let me try. Let me try if I can open it. Otherwise, we're going to leave it to cool down completely, you know. Now that's hot, maybe we have a chance. Hold the mobile. Hold it over there. Just to show as this recording right now. Oh boy. Oh shit, it's not moving at all. It's not. No. Bullshit, what it is. No. Leave it to cool down completely, the car. Okay. When it will gonna cool down, we're gonna try again. <sighs> the, the problem is that if it, if it broke, okay, there's no problem. If it was how they take manifold, we're talking about three minutes job only. Yeah, yeah. Drilling, tapping it, and then put the new one. Again, you have to open, don't fill anything inside because straight through hole. Anyhow, that's for this car. This car is a different story. We're gonna put on the Zag when we finish with this car to check the stabilizer bar. You know what? It, keep it outside to cool down, to have a available Zag here, because we don't have a Zag. Yeah. Okay, now, back, I'm gonna mix up the videos. I, I'm sure about it. Uh, back on the Zag, the car, I'm talking about the C63. Okay. Uh, the stabilizer bar, they remove it, the guys. Gentlemen, you know what are we going to do here? What are we going to do here? We're going to open the ear here. Also this one. We're going to move this plate that's like a sandwich. Okay, nice and carefully. All right, and this is supposed to be like a press fit here. Then we're going to change the bushes and we're going to close by again. Uh, I need to see, give me the new bushes. It's on the table over there. It's on the table there. Okay. Then somebody asked uh, if you want to change the high pressure line on a C63 204 M56 engine. Okay, uh, if you have to remove the subframe to remove the subframe to change the, the hose for the power steering, I mean, one hose is here and the other one is here. And this one, I don't know, let me see, it's the new one or the old generation? No, it's the new generation fitting that it has it goes the fitting inside and then there is another one screw around M10 millimeter M10. M10. Uh, there is another one, the old one, that is passing through the fitting, uh, the 24 millimeters I'm talking about. So, to change the, the high pressure line on the power steering, on the steering rack, it's here, straightforward. I don't understand why to remove the subframe, just what you remove. You don't even have to remove the subblaster bar, you just remove this plate. You're securing the steering rack, okay? If you want to have more access, you be careful. Uh, be careful here with the plug. That has this for the solenoid of the steering rack, and then there is also the steering axle here. You can remove one bolt and then take it completely out if you want. Anyhow, to the point, where was I? <coughs> Let's see the bush. Yeah, looks the same to me. Looks the same to me. So the cut, it looks like it's front. No, it looks like this is cut everywhere. Anyhow, no, this cut here, this has been cut here, this has been cut here, this is a wear, but this has a cut here. Anyhow, in any case, if it's been glued on it, that I doubt, I believe that's just only because of the, because they press it. That's why it's staying so tight. Uh, if they've been glued, we're gonna clean it here with a, with a small brush, the iron brush, then we're gonna paint it black, don't come rust the stabilizer bar, mm -hmm. then we're gonna put this to be fine, to be okay. Uh, yeah, this is gone. It's literally gone. We're gonna see about that. First, I'm pressing it. This is supposed to be the same, just only it's from this side it's like this, and from this side it's like that. All right? Okay. So that's it for now. Uh, let's see. Without making any scratch, without making any damage, try here to open this until I come back. I'm going to check the C63S with the methanol.
Is it okay that I make video for you? We, we try the stabilizer bar, the buses, it's not the same. We, we are now the guys are closing it back. It gets that, that's what I remember that the stabilizer bar buses are coming all together with the stabilizer bar. And what's that's not the case. What's the case? I wish to go back in time and make this so we don't have to open it at all. If you just get the boost that they send us, this you're gonna tell me yes, you can drill it. But again, it's not gonna be the same. So you have this, this gap here. How that? Why I didn't test this earlier? Why? And I'll let you open the stereo, the stabilizer bar. Why? Why? In any case, need stabilizer bar or need the correct size uh, boosts. That's it. That's it. I have something else. So here, no, nothing, Mr. Omar. It sends the parts, this parts back to the owner. I already uh, write the date on the battery. That's it. Thank you very much. I'm gonna mix up the videos. Yay!